Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this time lapse video. I'm going to try something a little different and do a voiceover instead of the usual time lapse with the music in the background. So, a quick preface to the piece on screen. This took about four hours and I did this on the 4th of July since I had the day off from work. I'm calling this girl the Crystal Witch. She lives in the cave where the crystals grow naturally. She meditates with them. She works with their energy to heal herself heal other people remotely and to try to heal the planet. She's lived in these caves for so long that she's starting to actually look like the crystals that grow there. An inspiration for this piece is that I really love crystals. Like I make crystal necklaces and rings and I sell them on Etsy. So as a side note, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. But anyway, it's obvious that this girl isn't me and she doesn't look anything like me. She's on a completely different level, and she has truly become one with the crystals. This was really fun to draw, even though all the little details took quite a bit of time. And I enjoy it. I enjoy just drawing and spacing out. And when I look up, I'm just like, whoa, I did that? <laughs> so I do plan on making prints of um, this piece, which brings me to the next topic for this video. I'm currently working on making a professional website for my art. So currently I only have Instagram and DeviantArt, but it would be really nice to have my own actual website. So I plan to have this website be mainly like a portfolio. And I've been looking at things that other artists put on their website, and I found at least five things that's usually there. Number one, a professional looking portfolio of their artwork. Number two, a page about the artist. Number three, a resume for if they had any artistic achievements or gallery shows. Number four, an online store where people can buy prints of their art as well as the original pieces. Number five, links to all of their social media. So I feel that if I'm going to put myself out there as an artist, I need to have just one place where people can go to find out more about me, find out more about my art, and as well as links to where they can find me on social media if they're interested in following me. So instead of saying, hey, check out my art Instagram, I can say, hey, check out my website. I'm really excited about the project, and when I'm finished, I will definitely announce it on YouTube and Instagram. So there's another art-related update that I have for you guys. I just started learning how to paint actual figures and faces in acrylic paint and I recently did painting with a twist for my cousin's birthday and even though I kept swearing up and down that I don't work with paint and I don't really know how to use it my painting still came out really good and I got a lot of compliments on it and that made me feel a lot better so I went and I purchased a few supplies so that I can practice and I already had acrylic paint but I just didn't use it so I got the paint because I took um, I believe it was a few art classes where I had to learn how to like mix paint and I had to learn color theory and that was pretty much all I ever used the acrylic paint for so I have a lot of like different mediums in my house that I don't use because I love just working with pencil and I love to use my drawing tablet to draw my computer so the cool thing about art is that when you learn a skill in one medium, you can learn a different medium fairly quickly. So like literally within, I would say it was three days, I was able to paint something that I was proud of using the skills I learned from working with pencil, pastels, watercolors. And like I said, I've worked with paint before in high school and college art classes, but we never had an assignment that involved actually producing a finished piece with it. So if you would like to keep up with my painting journey, you can follow me on Instagram, Morgan Cerise, and I'll have a link in the description. I'm really excited to post this stuff in the next few days, and as usual, thank you for watching my videos, and if you want more content like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.